So sitting in front of us right now is the Z87 ASUS Sabertooth motherboard. If you're completely uh, new to hardware components within computers, let me just say that a motherboard is the central piece that makes a computer, the central piece that makes a laptop, the central piece that makes your cell phone. You have a Mac laptop, it has a motherboard in it. A motherboard is basically a, a printed circuit board which allows you to add on additional components and hardware that will expand your computer. So without a motherboard, you have literally no piece of hardware. Um, if we open this up, this is a relatively new um, motherboard as you can see here. Now typically, when you get a motherboard, there is not this very kind of black, you know, fill, uh, finish right here that's kind of covering all of this. Um, you usually don't have this. This is because this is a more expensive motherboard and because this is more um, in regards to gaming, uh, this is a gamer mother motherboard. It's designed this way to look nice and sleek and fancy. Uh, a normal motherboard looks like this. You can see all the little batteries. You know, there's no uh, black plating on like my new one that I'm holding right here. The first thing I want you to examine here is this. This is the CPU. So you have your motherboard, which is the main piece of hardware, and then you install what is known as a CPU, central processing unit, into here, which runs pretty much all of the applications on your computer. So if you have, you know, web browsers, Mozilla Firefox, Google Chrome, it manages microprocessors on your computer. So any applications that you use, that is what the processor does. And there's single core processors, there's dual core processors, there's quad core processors, and I think there's even like a quadruple quad core or quadruple like nine or 12 cores uh, processor out in some Mac computers or Mac uh, or editing stations that you can guy buy. But the standard is usually dual core or quad core. Um, I, pref I personally prefer quad, quad core. This is a uh, quad core motherboard. that You can install an i7 into it. But in any case, the CPU, which I'm gonna make into another video specifically examining and showing you uh, what a CPU is and actually how small it is. CPU is only about, it's about, Maybe that size, it's really tiny, and they run up to anywhere from $100 to up to $2,000 in the price range. So the next important part of a motherboard is you have the CPU, central processing unit, which does microprocessing applications, so on and so forth, anti-aliasing and video games. Then you have what is known as RAM. These are four RAM slots, and you know, you have like, when you go to buy a computer, it says four gigs of RAM, eight gigs of RAM, 12, 30, uh, 24, 36, 64, and so on and so forth. Um, certain motherboards, you can have triple memory, which is a total of six slots instead of four. Um, triple memory tends to be more expensive. Um, it doesn't really matter if you have triple or dual. You can still have them be equally just as good. Um, but in any case, I'm going to actually reserve these talk going into detail about this for another video on what RAM is. But RAM stands for Random Access Memory. This right here is a ATX 24-pin power connector. So in when you install your... Uh, motherboard and all your components in your computer, you have what is known as a power supply. And the power supply can be either 8-pin um, or 24-pin, depending on the motherboard. But you use the connector to stick into here, and this gives, this right here gives power to all of these other components that we're going to be looking at. Next up on a motherboard is my personal favorite, which are these two slots right here. Now, these two slots are known as PCIe X. 16. These are, how do I, I'm trying to think of how to describe this. Basically, what attaches onto here is what is known as your GPU. Your GPU is known as, is a graphics processing unit, and if you don't know what a GPU does, that is what gives you your frames, that gives you your, your resolution on your computer, um, along with working with every mobile phone, every personal computer, Every workstation, every video game console has what is known as a GPU, a general processing unit. And the motherboard, this is the PCIe X, is, allows the GPU to be attached into here and it gives it power. But the GPU does all of your main stuff. Like, this does microprocessing, this does video editing, this will play your video games, this will make high definition 1080p you know, resolutions. Your GPU is a very, very important part, and it's perfectly, uh, mainly one of mine. Um, and some boards only have one of these, and this is a more advanced board, so I can have two of these, which will allow me to actually put two, gra two full GPUs next to each other and then use a little attachment, Crossfire, or um, SLI bridge, which will make, it will, basically, I can run two GPUs, two graphics cards. These slots are used for your GPU, and if you don't have that, then you probably will, you will not have any visual picture, or you will not be able to play games, or do any type of video editing, or, yeah. So basically, you can't, 
the, the, the amazing thing about a motherboard is you have to have all of these components together. You have to have your RAM, you have to have your CPU, you have to have a graphics card for the most part. If you don't have any of these things, then your, your motherboard is practically useless. So a motherboard is the essential core of your system in which you add on additional parts that can be upgraded and swapped. So these little slots on the side of my motherboard here are, these are known for your hard drives. These are called SATA slots. So you have SATA 1, SATA 2, SATA 3. This, I think, has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, seven. yeah, it has 8. Um, so I can attach up to 8 different hard drives, all, if I want to do an SSD drive, a solid, SSD stands for solid straight drive, a normal, just hard drive in general. Um, these are what you can use, and all, some of these will allow actually different transfer rates of different, depending on your hard drive and the speed of it, some, certain slots, I, uh, I don't know which color that identifies that, they color code it based upon which does which, one's faster than the other in some, in, in some way. Um, but these are essentially just for your hard drives. Now if we go to the back of this, so on the back of every motherboard we have these simple little things. These are four USB ports, 2.0. I'm assuming you should know what those are. Then the blue is the newest U USB 3.0. Then we have a, huh, I didn't notice this actually, I didn't know this had an HDMI out cable on the back of it. That's cool. We have an eSATA, and then we have uh, Ethernet for your internet, goes in the back of here. And then you have these little color, uh, six different. I know pink and green are for audio and headphones. I can't remember what the other ones are for, but this is for your, um, all, this, all six of these are in regards to audio. Um, and then here's a little BIOS button. Now this is the bottom of the motherboard, and as you can see, there's a lot of little, little pins. Very, very, very fragile little pins, and they're all different. Um, those are for your, uh, those are for your power supply. Um, your power supply plugs into these different pins, and all of these pins, you have to look at your motherboard's, um, guidebook, but all these little pins right here do different things. Some of them access, give you more fan power, some of them give more power to the board, some, uh, put little lights on your desktop computer. I think these are for LEDs and lights and sound. Um, uh, different fans, CPU fans, speed rates, all different little things. Um, so you, you, ha you have to look at your motherboard in order to figure out which, pin does what. But yeah, ladies and gentlemen, that is it. This is a motherboard. Pretty simple, isn't it? I mean, a lot of people seem to think computers are really, really complex. They're really not. It's like uh, you buy a main piece and then you buy attachments for that piece and you add on to it. That's essentially it. This is my uh, video for the Sabertooth Z87 motherboard. What is a motherboard? Motherboard is the main core system of all computers and all different types of hardware. Without a motherboard, you pretty much will not have anything working within the realm of electronics. No matter, motherboards can be big, small, and they can be tiny, like even up to that big. Um, even controllers on, on you know, uh, consoles, C controllers themselves have a little circuit board, which you could guys you could call as the motherboard. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. This has been a video on what is a motherboard. Very, 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 very basic stuff. My next video actually is going to be examining this little beauty right here. This is my GPU for this motherboard. Or not GPU, excuse me. CPU, which is the Intel i7 processor i7-4770K. Also, I forgot to mention, um, depending on the motherboard that you buy, uh, motherboards have to be compatible. So the p parts that you buy for your computer, they need to be compatible with one another. And it's pretty simple to realize, but this is LA, uh, LGA Socket 115. This is a CPU support LGA 115. So if you're going to buy a, um, it will say it on the box or whatever you're buying, you have to make sure that your CPU is compatible with the motherboard and you know that it's compatible based upon having the same exact socket um, as your motherboard. So yeah, pretty simple stuff. Uh, thank you guys for watching. My next video will be on this, and then this will I will then go to RAM. RAM, I will go do a full in-depth video on explaining the structure of a hard drive and how hard drives and solid state drives work. Once I go through all these videos on explaining the individual parts and how they actually affect and change the motherboard themselves in terms of the processes they use, I'm going to actually build this entire computer from scratch for you guys so you can actually see how everything goes together, how all the parts connect and all the wiring and everything like that. And I'm going to make a whole new new computer for myself that you guys are going to be able to learn from and watch it be built. So thank you guys for watching. Um, have any recommendations if I need to improve these types of videos? I haven't really done any type of tech videos for a very, very long time. So if you have any suggestions on how to improve my content, please let me know below. Thank you guys for watching. Peace. The rep out.